What's going on YouTube? So today we'll be talking about uh, the next roster update for MLB The Show 24. Some guys that I'm invested in, some stats that they're doing right now, and you guys can make your guys' decision on who you guys want to invest in. Let's go ahead and check it out. First up on our radar is Luis Gill, absolutely killing it for the New York Yankees. We even have a spreadsheet that's going to tell us his stats. We'll show the spreadsheet at the end because I don't want to ruin any of the other players. But let's talk about his stats. 4.46 hits per nine, 16 Ks per nine, no home runs allowed, and 2.2 walks per nine are his stats since the last roster update. And his attribute... Uh, <laughs> Uh, his MLB The Show attributes, 85 hits per nine, only 69 Ks per nine, 28 walks per nine, and 74 home runs per nine. So with a 2.2 walks per nine, and he only has 28 walks per nine, I can imagine seeing those get boosted crazy. And then his Ks per nine being at 16.1, we can definitely see his Ks per nine get boosted as well. Like he can go easy a 74 to a like an 82 83 imagine he goes plus 11 and hits diamond you never know he is more on the expensive price he's already a gold price but i think even around 300 stubs if you can get him around around there it could be a good enough investment because if he gets to gold because you are 400 but he can get to 81 and be worth 600 stubs so and he's on fire, and that walks for nine is so low, he can easily get there. Now, I'm not necessarily investing in this guy because his price is already at a diamond, but he could go up to 86, 87. But let's talk about Shota. Uh, 3.1 hits per nine, nine Ks per nine, no home runs allowed, and a 1.29 walks per nine. When you look at his stats, 81 hits per nine, 66 Ks per nine, 85 walks per nine, 86 home runs per nine. You can definitely see a boost in the Ks per nine if he's striking out a lot of people. Obviously, he's not striking out as many as Luis. So that's why I say I don't really like the price point that he is at 24, 3,000. But he is on a radar to go diamond. Just don't know if he's worth the investment, uh, especially at that price. You're getting 600 profit for each one, maybe 500. But you're also spending a lot more for him. So you won't be able to get as much of him that you would want. Like a guy like Luis Gill, you can like stockpile him a lot more and get more profit just because you can buy more. Next up is going to be Seth Lugo. Now, he did not strike out too many players in his last appearance, but overall, he's still striking out a lot of guys. Uh, Seth Lugo, 7.38 hits per nine, 9.2 Ks per nine, 0.7 home runs per nine, and 2.1 walks per nine since the last roster update. Look at his stats, 69 hits per nine, 49 Ks per nine, 82 walks per nine, and 71 home runs per nine. That Ks per nine being only at a 49, and he's striking out at 9.2 Ks per nine. I can definitely see that go up to 50. I mean, probably like 60, 70 even. And his hits per nine, I mean, that could possibly stay the same. Uh, but if he can limit some hits in this next start, I can see Seth Lugo going up 83, maybe even hit that 84. He has the potential. And at the price point, I mean, it's expected to kind of expect him to go to at least an 81, maybe an 82. If he gets above probably a thousand stubs, I would probably start selling him off at that point. But I'm still holding him. I got him around four something, 450, 60. We'll take a look at that at the spreadsheet uh, later on in the video. Next up is Alec Bohm. Now, I sold him already because his price like doubled. I don't know why he's going for 2,000 stubs right now because he's not playing the greatest right now, but he's going for 2,000 stubs right now. Does he get the diamond boot? Diamond upgrade i don't know plus 14 to his power and plus 14 to his contact versus righties right now gets him that boost but let's talk about how he's doing he's got one hit versus lefties he's only batting a 0 0.077 against left and you see his stats right here 110 78 versus lefties so that's not good it, obviously it's only over 10 of bats but that's still pretty decent amount of bats to only have one hit no home runs no extra base hits but against righties he's got 10 hits batting 333 so his contact you know could go up possibly one home run a uh, six extra base hits so you can definitely see those power numbers versus righties go up so maybe that's where people think he's gonna go diamond now i got in on this guy at quick sale price around 600 when he went up to 1700 I sold him. I made 170000 stub profit. I take my profit. If he goes diamond and, and, and people make more, so be it. I didn't want to risk it. I sold him. But it is possible that he can get upgraded to an 82, 83, 84, maybe diamond in the next roster update. I just would not buy this. Next up is Matt. Three hits versus lefties, batting 600 against lefties and two extra base hits. Obviously, small sample size there. 
But against righties, he's got 10 hits, batting 357 with three home runs and six extra base hits. If you look at his stats, his contact versus righties is very, very low. His power versus righties is very, very low. And that's where he's killing the baseball right now. You can definitely see him go gold very, very easily if he gets that contact and power boost versus righties. So at his current price, 211 stubs, 422 by now. You can get in on him what at 200 and some stubs goes up to gold he's worth 400 stubs you can double your profit and he could go 81 82 never never know but i do like matt chapman so far this year get that boost in the next roster up now next up is luis i don't know how to say his last name i really don't i don't really don't uh but let's take a look at him real quick five hits versus lefties at batting 500 so he's five for ten one home run and three extra base hits versus lefties. So you see those power numbers versus lefties. Kind of crazy. Uh, and six hits versus righties, batting 250 with one home run and three extra base hits. You can see how he already crushes lefties. He could get a, a power boost versus uh, lefties. Uh, contact versus righties and power versus righties. He's hitting for power versus righties right now. He needs to ha have a better average than 250 against righties but I still like him for a long-term play. Plus six, plus six brings him up to a 78. So if we see anything higher than that, like a 12 plus 12, maybe he can hit it, get that gold, gold boost. He is at like 200 stubs. So it's kind of a riskier play right here. Maybe a more of a long-term play, but I got enough of them. I'm holding them, hoping that he goes gold some point this year. I think he's one of the hottest angel hitters right now too. Now next is Jake Mayers. Now this guy, one hit versus lefties. He's only batting 0 0.083 against lefties 12 hits against righties batting 571 with three home runs and five extra base hits and look at those stats against righties 65 contact versus righties 45 power versus righties and he's batting 571 since the last roster update and he only needs a plus one guys he only needs a plus one to get to 80 overall and he's only 300 stubs right now. So even if you got in about 300 stubs, still make 100 stubs for each one you get. Get 1,000 of them, make like 10,000 or so. Not the not crazy amount, but he can has the potential to go 81, to go 82 overall because he only needs that plus one to hit 80. So he can get a higher boost, get that higher overall boost. You guys can make more stubs off of it. Now let's check out our spreadsheet just so you guys know exactly where I'm getting this information from. I get it from fan grass, but I put it over on my spreadsheet just so it's easier to see. And we can kind of see exactly what we're doing with, right? Here. Like I said, my Alec Bohm, I sold. You can guys can see it right here. We made 130,000 profit. We have Seth Lugo. We got Matt Chapman, Luis Rinfo, uh, Gil, Jake Myers, uh, Griffin Jacks, which is not allowed a hit. And since the last roster update, in fact, <laughs> he really hasn't allowed too many hits all year. So we got, we got him as well. He's like a little uh, outlier right there. I'll talk about, I don't really have too much stats on him right now. Definitely a guy on the radar right now, if you guys want to check it out. And then over on the right hand side, you guys can see all the stats I got. The green stats is what they're doing at IRL. And then in the blue is what their actual MLB The Show 24 stats. So you can kind of compare where they need improvement and then are they playing well in that area? So if they're, if they got like a 500 average against righties, and then we got 65 contact versus righties. Maybe we can see like, hey, maybe his contact gets boosted. He has a good investment. I like it. And then with the pitchers, uh, same thing. We got hits per nine, Ks per nine, home runs per nine, walks per nine. And then they're actually, so we saw the 2.2 walks per nine. And then we saw he only has 29 walks per nine in his MLB The Show uh, stats. So we definitely can definitely get a boost there. And that's kind of how we have that available. There is a link down in the description down below. If you guys want to join in on this. We got the XP reward war path cheat sheet. And then we also have the roster update where I put every investment that I ever do will be right here. If we go up, we can see my last investments, how much I made. We made 476,000 profit in our last roster update. And then obviously if all of these went through, if every single one hit, we would make over a million stub profit. That's not realistic. Not everything ever hit. That's why we hold them. Sometimes we fold on some of them. We lose a little bit of stubs on some of them. And that's on here. Like if I sell, the, if I end up quick selling the card, I'll just put the quick sell, whatever I sold it for right here. And then we'll take our negative profit uh, if that is the case. But it is there for you guys to view, uh, to, to look at. And I update it as I make those invests. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this type of video, be sure to like, subscribe for new, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next.